guys, welcome back. So I've got my November Ipsy bag here for you today. And as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this bag. I've tried out the goodies inside. So I have some thoughts and reviews for you guys. So yeah, let's get to it. So it looks like the theme this month is Rock Starlet. So that's really, really cute. This is what the bag looks like. It is adorable. It's like constellations, but they are in the shape of lipstick and mascara and brushes and makeup compacts and just all things cute and girly and makeup-y, which I love. And it has a little star for the little zipper pull. So super duper cute. Not like the nicest quality feeling, but still very functional and adorable to look at. So first in my bag, I got a product from Ofra. You guys know I love Ofra. This is the Banana Highlighting Powder. So this is too dark for me. It's too yellowy toned and I'm just too fair for this to work. Um, but I know a lot of people really love this powder, so I'm going to pass this on to a friend. Um, so for me, it's kind of a fail product to get in the bag because it doesn't work for my skin tone. But overall, for this to be in a bag, I think is a nice thing because it is a higher end product and I've heard really good things about it. Then I got a little sample size of the Benefit Professional. So I've used this primer before um, and I do like it. It's just not one of my go-tos. But I know a lot of people love this primer and this is like a holy grail for them. Um, for me personally, uh, pore filling isn't necessarily like my main concern or what I'm going for with a primer. Usually I'm looking for just like helping with the longevity of my makeup or smoothing everything. Um, pores aren't my like highest priority in a primer, but I know that a lot of people that that is their main concern really love this primer. So it's a good primer, um, just not one of my absolute favorites. Then I got a hair oil. This is the Verb Ghost Oil and it says Smoothing Moringa Blend plus Weightless Hair Oil. So I did use a little bit of this on like the ends of my hair today um, because my hair, this isn't first day hair, this is like third day hair. So I use just a little bit of it just to kind of help with like the frizz and you know the ends. Um, and I feel like it worked pretty well. Not a huge fan of the scent. It's not bad, but it's, I mean, it, it smells fine. It's a, I think a lot of people would like this scent, but for me, I, it's not my favorite. It's kind of a very clean scent, but like, like a perfumey, like perfumey clean scent. So I don't know, not a huge fan of the scent, but I don't really smell it in my hair once I have it in there. Um, it's kind of more of like a jelly sort of an oil. I mean, it is an oil, but it feels like a little bit thicker of an oil than some other ones that I've used. So I think it worked. Hair oil is not my favorite thing to get in bags, but I think functionally this works fine. Then I got a nail polish, and sadly I can't really try nail polishes right now because I have fake nails. So I wasn't able to try this for you guys, but I love Formula X polishes. This is in the shade, does it have a name? Huntress. And it's a really cool color. It's like a very duochrome-y, it's kind of like black and green and just sort of strange and amazing. Like gold, green, blue, black. Really, really cool. So it looks like a really neat color. Let me swatch it on a piece of paper. Okay, I swatched it on this little napkin and I don't feel like it's doing it justice, but it looks like a black with a lot of blue in it, but honestly, I bet that duochrome would come out a lot more on your actual nails versus a paper towel. <laughs> but this just gives you like the general idea of the base color. Really neat, but I think just looking at it in here, there's a lot more gold happening to it. So anyway, I like this. I like Formula X polishes. I think they're really nice. Um, the quality of them is really nice, and I think that's a cool color. And then lastly, my favorite thing in my bag is the Elizabeth Mott Color is Bay Lip Lacquer, and this is in Moxie Mauve, and this is what I have on my lips today. I really, really like this. What's the scent? Oh, it reminds me a lot of the Jordana liquid lipstick. So that kind of like sweet candy sort of a scent. So it does have a sweet smell to it. Um, it's a thinner formula, so it takes a little bit of building, but I'm liking how it feels on my lips. Like I can't feel it really at all. So it's not drying, it's not sticky, it's not necessarily hydrating, um, transfer proof. So I'm really liking that. And it's a really pretty sweet pink sort of a color. Very nice. And these are always good for travel or just throwing in your purse. And that's a really cute name. Color is Bay. So 
I like that a lot. This is definitely my favorite thing in this bag. Okay guys, so that's everything that I got in my Ipsy bag this month. I would say overall, this was an okay bag, but definitely not my favorite that I've ever gotten. Um, favorite things would be the bag, the nail polish, and definitely the lip lacquer. I really like those the best. But honestly, I know some other people would be really excited about the Ofra powder and the Professional hair oil. Meh, I don't want hair products in my bags. I just want the makeup. Just give me the makeup. But I still love Ipsy. It's $10 a month, and I always look forward to seeing that little pink envelope in my mailbox. So if you want to sign up for Ipsy, I'll leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you got in your Ipsy bag this month. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!